Welcome back. So last series we kind of created a live running uh, application in Angular that's now actually on production. This link might be shut down now, but right now when I'm making the video, this is on production right now. You might have a similar thing, and right now it's not that pretty. It, it can it can kind of get the work done to show all customers and do full CRUD for them, but the look and feel is kind of, uh, I would say, boring, but I would also say um, hideous and uh, strangely good old date 1990 not that pretty UI so we have to change that we have to start creating adding some styling to this if we want to make this into a real running application for a real customer at least that's that's what I think and um, we're going to do that in the next couple of lessons and I just want to show you some of the frameworks that I've considered to use and uh, this lesson and just to kind of give you an introduction to the, the kind of the different areas that I'm going to move into. Now, I'm going to give you an introduction and just get you started in these different frameworks, but you're going to have to do the work yourself to kind of dive really deep into the frameworks and understand them. First of all, the first guy that I want to talk about this series right here is Bootstrap. Now, Bootstrap is a framework that can help you prettify and, and the same with the other ones I'm going to show you. Bootstrap is a framework that can kind of help you create some pretty nice UI, some pretty nice web application without making all the work yourself from scratch. So if we go to getbootstrap.com, documentation, and you go to um, components down here, you'll actually see some of the different components that Bootstrap provides. Like you have these alerts, let's go to buttons. You have some buttons that look something like this. You can see there's even some mouse over effect when I kind of scroll over them, right? So let's just zoom in a little bit. There we go, so you'll see they, they kind of change color on my so and when I click them, they'll also give some kind of visual effect. You have uh, cards looking something like, like this, right? Where you can put in a small image and they'll put in borders and stuff like that. You have a carousel, collapsibles. You have so many things that I kind of built for you so you can actually, um, that can help you out so you don't have to build everything from scratch. And that's what, what Bootstrap can do for you. You have drop downs uh, called selectors. And you'll see here is a, a small drop down that using some JavaScript kind of shows you this list. And then you can kind of select what you want to show. You have forms where you have all these different things that looks a lot prettier than what you normally see in forms, right? So you have all of this available built out of the box for you. And that's kind of bootstraps, uh, which, which is one of the frameworks that kind of provides this. There's a lot of other frameworks out there. I just picked bootstrap. So that's the first framework I'm going to go through and how we can use that in Angular because we, we can, it's hard to use it directly out of the box. We're actually using an Angular wrapper and I'll show you that in the upcoming lessons. The other framework that I'm kind of interested in is Materialize. Now Materialize is actually uh, Google's small UI framework and Materialize have the same idea as with Bootstrap. They have some different components like they have buttons that do some blink effect here. That's kind of why I like materialize I think because we have these beautiful beautiful buttons with some floating effect and they have they've made it a bit more slick, a bit nicer to look at in my mind. So you have cards here as well again looking a bit different than the bootstraps one you saw. You have a small footer if that's what you're interested in. We have nav bars. Nav bars uh, are also amazing. Uh, and again, a lot of this is also available, almost pretty much all of this is also available inside, inside Bootstrap. So you can go and check them both out. And there's a lot, of, a lot of great things in here that you can actually use. There's also collapsible things like this where you can kind of extend it. Uh, you have carousel, you have, well, I could keep going. There's so many great things that are built out of the box with these frameworks so you don't have to build it all from scratch like the toast for instance when you click it it's going to show toast and then automatically hide it we want that we want that in our application we want a pretty nav bar instead of the the hideous map bar that i built myself i want the nav bar looking more more shiny like this where you have menus right and you have you even have drop downs you have sub menus maybe or whatever you want to build drop downs like this that hovers and stuff like that i want that instead of this boring stuff I made. So we're going to look into that in the next couple of lessons. The first series I say is going to focus on Bootstrap and then we're going to move into actually talking about Materialize later. Then you can kind of pick which one you want to use. That's it for this lesson. See you next time. Have fun.